Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be a quick preview as I have other podcasts I'm doing tonight, but I'd like to make these short and sweet anyway. Of the Devils and Flyers game tonight, the key point of this game is I'm Sports Fanatic News, aka Pro Joe, Joe Boric of SteelFlyers.com, Flyers Any Gritty Overtime Heroics, and Pub Sports Radio. Please check out all those fine places. But the key to this game is playing like the Flyers did in the 60. If they play like they did in the 60 minutes against the Isles last night, and Blackwood uh, doesn't play like uh, Sorokin yesterday, um, then they're going to definitely be in a good spot to be able to win this hockey game. Um, I think if you're able to supply the pressure you did against the Isles, against a much younger defense of the New Jersey Devils, um, you should be able to be able to get those W's. Um, I think you have to take advantage and keep playing aggressive. You have to obviously play like you did in the 60 minutes yesterday with in terms of other than the OT you had that game cost and turnover you were limiting them Patrick played his most aggressive game all in all um you saw the best game from Myers I think uh Sanheim looked a little bit better as well so I think everybody looked their best in yesterday's game the key to tonight's game is simply literally just play like you did yesterday in the 60 minutes, but just figure out a way to get that second goal. Um, If you can do that, obviously, today, I think against the uh, Devils, if you play like that, you shouldn't even have to worry about worrying to get that second goal, especially because when I did uh, Pirlo's Pearls of Wisdom um, show today from 3 to 5, check him out, he does great stuff. Blackwood wasn't fully confirmed yet, so if he's not in, just keep firing shots, uh, getting shots on net like you had yesterday, the 37 total. Um, to uh, 20 in the game total for the Islanders, but it was um, 16 or 17 uh, for regulation. So um, I think this team just needs to keep playing, take the good from yesterday and bring it into this game. That's what you have to do. Uh, you have to bring all the good into this game. You can't take moral victories now in the season, but you have to try to take from that game and break it with the good. At least you got into OT, and that's where you were losing, where you laid a goose egg. Tonight, I really need to see uh, Carter Hart bounce back and have a great performance. Um, After having a day off, a full day off yesterday, where it was Elliott and then Lyon. But Hart is confirmed for tonight. Um, it's going to be interesting playing a Devils team you cannot take for granted. Um, this is a team that has a good um, offensive lineup and a solid young defense. Obviously, PK hasn't done what they wanted uh, being there, but Murray, uh, D- Damon Severson, and obviously the youngster Ty Smith are nothing to sneeze at, and Kulikov's actually been pretty darn good for them as a defensive defenseman playing almost 20 a night. So this is a team that I think would be more around 500, the New Jersey Devils, if they didn't have injuries, and Blackwood wasn't out for the projected time, so you cannot take this team for granted. You must just play like you did in the 60 minutes yesterday, and you should be able to get a regulation win against this New Jersey Devils hockey team. That's literally my key to winning this game for the Flyers, is that simple. Play like you did in the 60 minutes yesterday. You played your best 60 minutes. Patrick was good. Lindblom continued his great hot streak with three goals in three games. Everything was looking good other than the fact that you couldn't get on the score sheet other than one goal because Sorokin was playing like a bat out of hell and you just couldn't find a way to get past that when you still have to, that's not an excuse, you have to find a way to be able to win a game, you have to play a team like that, but you have to take the good from that game, forget about the pitiful OT, and then move into this game playing like you did in the first 60 minutes of yesterday's game and bring that into today's game. The Flyers, Kyle Palmieri has been a Flyers killer. You really have to watch that first line in general, Palmieri, Hughes, and Jesper Bratt. But definitely watch uh, Kyle Palmieri. And then you definitely want to keep a lookout for, obviously, uh, guys like Wood, who has a lot of speed when the Flyers haven't been able to always keep up with some of those skaters with their inefficient defense this year. You have to look out for guys like Miles Wood like that. And even Azaka, uh, who's been very good this year, um, that can potentially um, hurt the Flyers here, who has 18 points on the season thus far. So I think the key for Flyers play what they did in the 60 minutes yesterday. Carter Hart has to come back and uh, have his head on a swivel and be really uh, in tune for this game. And I think we know that's going to happen with Hart. It's been tough watching him this year. It's been tough watching him struggle. But we know eventually he's going to go back to being Carter Hart. I think most of us believe that. And he'll be a good goalie in this league again. It's really hard 
when your defense is hanging you out the dry on your mentality and everything when you're putting in the work you're just not getting the results I think giving them a day off was a great thing yesterday Moose played a great game we just couldn't get the victory for him now tonight you have to get the victory to heart no more moral victories no matter how good of a game you play if you lose tonight it doesn't matter moral victories at this time of the season and crunch time in the condensed season mean nothing you got to play like you did in the 60 yesterday get the win I believe Limblom if the Flyers able to prevail and get this win tonight will be a player of the game again he's been doing great I think Nolan Patrick yesterday might have got him going look for him to have another strong performance tonight and I really look for Sanheim and Myers to continue to build off of their yesterday performance compared to how they've looked for the rest of the season but this has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers New Jersey Devils I believe the Flyers going off of yesterday's performance as long as they don't get beat up from how they looked in OT should be able to take this game against the New Jersey Devils and I think the Philadelphia Flyers will win this game 4-2 to two against the Devils. Hard to have a good bounce back game. Lindblom will pot one of the goals. And I think Nolan Patrick has a chance to get on the score sheet tonight as well, coming off of how he looked yesterday. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric of SteelFlyers.com, Flyers Eddie Gritty, Pub Sports Radio, and Overtime Rogues. Please check out all of those great places as well as Pirlo Wisdom, Off the Wall Hockey, Peyton on the Radio, and all the other great um places I mentioned in past videos. I appreciate your support. Trying to hit 125 by week 7. Please subscribe and like if you have not already subscribed. We really appreciate it. And let's go Flyers. Let's bring that anytime, anywhere to the Devils. We're playing in our home barn. Let's have a great home win in our home barn and a great game finally played in front of Carter Hart like we played for the 60 in front of Elliott and just could not get him that win yesterday after having a pitiful overtime. Let's perform tonight. Let's get it going. Let's play like we did in that 60 last night against the Islanders and get a regulation win against this Devils team. I think it'll be 4-2. to two. Everyone have a great save and pleasant night. Go Flyers and enjoy the game. Peace out, everybody.